Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do when it comes to changing your outer tie rod ends on your car is if you have them, take your hubcaps off, then unloosen all the lug nuts or take them off even, and then you will want to get a car jack and raise the front of your car up on whatever side it is that you're replacing. Once that you've done that, you'll want to take your wheel off of your car. Okay, so the next thing that you're going to want to do is take any type of penetrating oil that you have and spray it around either the nut and the threads around it here as well as down here on this one and you're going to want to let it soak for a couple hours. Your next objective, I guess, is going to be to remove this set nut right here, or not really remove it, but just loosen it up and then probably turn it about half a turn just to get it away from your uh, tie rod end you want it to be away from it a bit but then you're going to want to tighten it back down almost to the tie rod end if that makes sense to you guys Okay, your, your next thing that you should try, well you should do, is get this castle nut, which in this case it's not a castle nut, down to about here, almost to where it's completely unthreaded. And the reason you want to do that is so you can, with either a mallet or a hammer, hammer your actual tie rod end out. Okay, so like I said, you wanted to get that down to where it's just about completely gone off of you. Oh, Threads. And then you can take your hammer or mallet, whichever one you choose, and hammer this out. Like so. And then once you've done that, you're going to want to continue and remove the actual castle nut or like I said earlier in this case it's not a castle nut and then you can just pop this out of place like so okay so at this point what you're going to want to do is take this and count the turns that you go through until it pops off so that was one turn two, it's three, four, it's five. This right here is the new outer tie rod end, and what you'll do 
is put it on like that and then count the amount of turns that you go through so that's one two and for this one it took 21 and a half turns to get it off so that was three four five six seven eight nine at this point once you've gotten this back on you're going to be taking your outer tire on and this bolt specifically and sliding it into this which is called the knuckle and then from there you'll want to take your castle nut and put your castle nut on So what you're going to want to do is tighten your castle nut down as far as you can get it as long as you can still see through this hole right here and you need to see through that hole right there to put your cotter pin through. Yeah. Okay, so like I said, you want to slip your cotter pin through the hole and that's why you needed to have your castle nut lined up with the hole. And then you need to bend the cotter pin so that it won't move and that will just generally help to keep the castle nut in place okay so now that you've gotten all this on your last thing to do is just tighten this bolt down onto your actual tie rod end like so until it won't move anymore And now you have yourself a brand new outer tie rod in installed on whatever car you have.